Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you'd like to see how I made these delicious, healthy zucchini corn fritters, then stay tuned. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these delicious oven baked zucchini, onion, corn fritters. They are so good and so low in points. You can eat them for breakfast, for brunch, for lunch, as, as a side with your uh, protein for dinner. They're absolutely delicious and so fast and easy to do. Um, so in a bowl, I'm going to take one zucchini. I already washed it and dried it. And I'm just going to slice it on a mandolin like this. Guys, if you don't have one of these, please, I'll put the link to this one in the description box below. But if you don't have one of these, please run out and get one. I have been using this almost every day. I love it. It is so handy. And instead of pulling out my big gigantic machine with all the attachments, this makes life so much easier. So I'm just going to continue to do this whole zucchini and I'll be back. So now that all my zucchini is sliced beautifully, if you wanted to take some of this out and use it in a salad or take some out and use it in a stir fry, um, it's you could do whatever you want with it. But today we're going to be making these delicious zucchini fritters. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer all this zucchini shredded into a bowl lined with a clean tea towel or if you have cheesecloth i thought i had another piece of cheesecloth i just couldn't find it and we're just going to let that sit for a minute now in the bowl we're going to take some red onion and now we're going to do the same thing with the red onion and just get some of this onion in there it actually, because it's in layers, it actually chops the onion into little, little tiny pieces, which I love. I don't want too much. Let me see. Is that good? Yeah, it's probably good. I mean, you could put as much as you want in. I'm just going to leave it like that. Then I have one egg in here with some shredded up, um, I did it on the mandolin, of jalapeno pepper. You know how I am with my jalapenos, guys. I like to put jalapenos on everything. If you don't like jalapenos, then please, by all means, just leave that out. Next, I have a, a little over a cup of corn. This is frozen corn, so I just threw it in the microwave to defrost it. But if you have a canned corn, by all means, use that. It is zero points, but if you're going to use cream corn, that's points. So stay away from the cream stuff. Now I have one clove of garlic. that I'm just going to put in here. Like so. I have some salt and pepper, about a half of a teaspoon of each. I have two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese and a third, I'm sorry, a quarter of a cup of all-purpose flour. Now we're just going to stir this up. You can add other spices if you want. I'm keeping these relatively um, simple, only for the fact that I am going to be making a delicious, very like zero point um, dipping sauce for them. So you just wanna get that all mixed up. You could add garlic powder, onion powder, whatever you want. So now what we're gonna do is I think we still have to let this sit for a little while, but what you want to do is you want to get all that liquid out of here. And believe you me, when you let it set for a little while, it does, you can see it's starting to get wet. So let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes. I'll come back and show you how much liquid I squeeze out of it, but you definitely don't want to 
skip this part. You have to get the liquid out. Okay, so to help this along a little bit, I did sprinkle a little bit of kosher salt on it. Kosher salt will draw, or any salt, will draw the moisture out of vegetables. So I only put a little, and we're just going to see all that juice. And this has been sitting for about 15 minutes. I think if I didn't put the salt on it, it would take probably about 25 minutes to a half hour to get all this liquid out. Okay. See all that? So now what we're going to do, so we're just going to dump this in our bowl. Now I did end up adding a little bit of minced onion. I always forget that I have this in my spice rack and I like the flavor of it. So even though I've made these before, I wanna see how it will taste with the minced onion. And now we're just gonna stir this. I do have my oven already preheated to 400 degrees and you want a baking sheet with some parchment paper on it. going to stir this. This is so good, you guys. And I'm baking them in the oven with just a little bit of olive oil spray on top. You just spray the tops. They get so nice and crispy on the bottom. Nice and fluffy and a little bit mushy on the inside and beautifully crisp on top. You're going to love them. So now that everything is very well incorporated, these are so good for a brunch. Or just as a side vegetable with breakfast. You know, most people don't eat vegetables with breakfast. You can have this with scrambled eggs on the side. Now I'm just going to wet my hands and I'm going to take out just mounds like this. And I'm gonna start placing them on my tray here. And I know you're probably saying, how the heck are they gonna stay together? They look so flimsy. Trust me, they do. You do not, if you're using more than one zucchini, then definitely use two eggs. Okay, you guys, I almost forgot to add a very important part, which is some baking powder. I'm just putting like, I guess that's like a teaspoon and a half. It's really no rhyme or reason. Just what this is going to do is it's going to help them puff up a little bit. So you don't want to forget that, which I almost did. Thank God I remembered. I would say at least, at least like two, uh, maybe a half a tablespoon. I don't know. I made these a while ago and I forgot where I got the recipe from. And as I was writing down the stuff last night, cause I definitely want to make these and prep them for the week. So I usually eat two at a time. Um, I was trying to remember everything that went into them. Okay, there we go. So now we're just going to take our mixture. And we're just going to put it on our, bake, on our parchment paper. Again, make sure your oven is nice and preheated. Now, the only points that are in these, you guys, is the quarter of a cup of flour and the Parmesan cheese, two tablespoons. And that's going to be divided amongst how many I can get out of here. So I'm just going to do six. So whatever that point comes, those points come to, we're going to divide that by six. 
and that's how many each one is going to be point wise and I always eat two like I said try to eyeball which one needs a little bit more try to get them all the same size get all that goodness out all right these are going in the oven for about 25 minutes to a half hour it's already preheated I'm just gonna take my olive oil spray and a couple of squirts on each one. I'll show you how they look when they're done. And in the meantime, we're going to make the, um, in a couple minutes, we're going to make the delicious zero point dill dipping sauce that I love to put on top. Okay, so for, for this outrageous dip, zero points, I have my non-fat Greek yogurt. Actually, this is the only, I hate yogurt to begin with and I don't use it. I only use it if I'm making like a nice dipping sauce or something. And I I don't know why. I guess from the last time I was on Weight Watchers, I just always buy the non-fat Greek. I guess because you can make the uh, two-ingredient dough and all that with it. So, yeah. Because I really can't stand yogurt. Like people that buy yogurts in the store with the fruit and they just eat it for breakfast. Like my mother does all the time. I could gag just even watching it. But in the bottom here, I just had some kosher salt and some black pepper. You could season yours however you want as far as the salt and pepper. But what you definitely want is a ton of dill. So this is dried dill. If you have fresh dill, that's even better. But I'm going to put a lot covers up that grossness of the, of the yogurt, then not even measuring, I'm just looking, some garlic powder and some onion powder, and that's it, I'm going to stir this up. And you could use this on anything. You can use it on salad. You can use it on some grilled chicken. You could dip your vegetables in it for a snack at night. I should say a healthy snack. I'm going to give this a quick taste and see if it needs anything. Oh, it's actually really good. Maybe a little bit more salt. You guys know me, I'm a saltaholic over here. Just a pinch more. And that's how simple it is. Now, if you don't want to use uh, non fat yogurt, you can use sour cream. Do the same exact thing with sour cream. Or you could do half and half half yogurt, half sour cream. If you're not a yogurt lover either. Let me see. It's much better. So that's it, guys. Now I have enough that I can keep it in the refrigerator. And when I want to use it, I just have to take it out for my beautiful um, zucchini fritters that are in the oven. All right, so I'm going to plate this up. As soon as they come out of the oven, I'll show you how they look. Okay, in Friday's video, I'm going to be doing a waffle fry casserole from Homemade Waffle Fries. And what I'm going to use for that is this mandolin with this blade. And if you're saying, how the heck am I going to get waffle fries out of this? What you do is you put the potato one way and then turn it the other way and when you turn it you get the waffle fry so you keep turning 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 instead of going straight down which will which would make a crinkle cut so i'm gonna have this mandolin in the description box below it's from amazon usually they deliver that day or the next day so if you if you're gonna want to make that waffle fry casserole that i'm gonna be making on friday Go out, pick yourself this up. It's so handy. And it has all these other blades. 
The one that we just did the zucchini was this, and then they have a smaller one. And then they have just this nice thin slice one that you can make nice potato chips with. I absolutely am obsessed with this. So this will be in the description box below if you want to grab it. Also in the description box below will be my Etsy page um, link. And I made myself a My Weight Watchers Journey Tumblr. And it says, I've got this. And then one day at a time with the scale and everything. So I absolutely love it. Um, it. It does have the rubber bottom on the bottom. Nice top that closes. It keeps things hot and cold for up to four to five hours. And it's 22 ounces. So on my app, I changed my water setting from 16 ounces to 22 ounces. And I drink it through a straw. And I find I'm drinking a lot more water. So if you'd like to order one of these from me, you can go to my Etsy page. They're $25 plus shipping. I think it comes to $32 or something like that. And yeah, and I could have one sent right out to you. All right. Okay, guys. So I just took them out of the oven. They've been in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes at 400 degrees. As you can see... They are nice and brown on the bottom, and they're still soft on the inside. The corn has a nice little crunch on it. They're so delicious. Now, as far as the points go, a quarter of a cup of flour was put in, the, in this mixture, which is three points, and then two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese, which is two points. So all of these come to five points. Everything else in here is zero points. They're not even a point a piece. I, I hate it when it comes out an odd number and I have an e even number of items. So I'm just going to charge myself one point for each. Because all of them together, if I was to eat all of these in one sitting, it would be five points. And then with the little bit of dipping sauce on them, it is so delicious. I'm going to plate up two of these. Like I said, for brunch, for lunch, you can eat them as a snack at night if you want. You can eat them cold. You can rewarm them up in the microwave. Eat them however you want with some, with some protein, some grilled chicken, some beef, some pork, however you want to eat them. I absolutely love them. They're so good, so low in points, healthy for you, that zucchini, the corn, and just so delicious. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you're new here, please hit the subscription button. Please hit the notification bell so you know when I have another video coming up. Um, the link, again, to the mandolin will be in the description box below. If you want to order that, this way you can do Friday's recipe. So I'm going to do one re the recipe for the potato ca the waffle fry um, casserole on Friday. But it'll also be a what I eat in a day. So it'll be three meals, but just showing you one recipe. All right, guys, everybody have a blessed day. We've got this. Don't forget, um, if you want to check out my Etsy page and order that Tumblr, go do so. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video. I'm going to enjoy two of these right now because it's not even two points. And why not? I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.